Okay, so I was asked in the comments to try Manjaro, uh, and this is the 64-bit version, uh, XFCE 19.10. Uh, and I'll put a link in the description for the download. Very easy just to download it uh, and then install it with Belena Etcher and then you just pop your SD card in. Answer a few questions uh, about region and things like that on the startup but then it boots you up into this browser. It defaults on my Sony TV to 4K um, which I can't screen capture at 4K, it always seems to block it. So uh, I've dropped it down to 1080. Interestingly I applied my 1080 patch, uh, which someone had given me in the comments, uh, to basically force the Pi to think that it's outputting 1080. And uh, it doesn't work on this, it doesn't boot if I apply that patch. Um, but my overclock is there, so I'm running at 2 uh, gigahertz and 750 megahertz for the graphics. So let's show you what comes as standard. I haven't really added anything to this, uh, so you can see favorites there. Web browser with a nice Safari looking uh, look to it. Uh, recently used, so things that I've opened uh, in just sort of looking at it all and you can see loads of options on there, accessories. A lot of the things I didn't didn't recognize, I used this notes app yesterday which was quite nice which stayed down the bottom here um, and uh, what else have I got? Screenshot, education, LibreOffice math, LibreOffice draw, under graphics, Internet, Firefox comes pre-installed, multimedia, different media players than I'm used to, no VLC on there, but uh, obviously, well, I would imagine it's available from the, the app store that's provided. So if I flick down through, uh, settings is, is very configurable. Lots of different themes and things I noticed that you can change on this. So, so loads of control uh, and then system. And uh, I also like the file manager, Unlike some other Linux uh, systems, it, it didn't automatically find my, um, my NAS drive, which was a bit weird. Uh, I, I tried to search, I tried a few different things. I haven't looked into this. This is always a first look, so this is always a case of, uh, you know, I, I'm looking at this for the first time and uh, haven't really uh, researched anything. I just wanted to show what it, what it looks like and how easy it is to use initially. So I created... Uh, in my notes, in that app notes, where is it? Yeah, notes. I wonder if it will show me. Oh, there you go. So this was the address of my NAS drive. So I thought I'd save it in notes so I could copy and then paste it into here. So let's right click and paste. And if I hit return, that should find my NAS drive, hopefully. Yeah. So there's my NAS drive. Oh, and it remembered where where it last. Oh, I see. I've got it on. So if I if I delete public, then it will go back one. There you go. And I've got my. So if I wanted my YouTube videos, uh, which are in which are archived in here, uh, YouTube archive, and then if I pick one, oh, there you go. A lawnmower review. Let's try that because it have some movement in it. Uh, so this is this would be 1080 as it says on the screen and nice Star Wars uh, intro there a challenge, 40 centimeter petrol hand push so 1080 plays great on this 4k doesn't play very well at all uh, I've tried 4k and uh, and it was quite stuttery uh, so if I go back uh, but that seems to be the case for most most things at the moment uh, if I go into my USB stick and try something, what can I play that, that would be all right to play? So yeah, this is, this is really nice quality, but uh, it is quite a high bit rate. Is it gonna play two things at the same time? I think it might do. I don't think I'm gonna do that with 4K. So you can see it comes up nice and bright, looks nice and crisp, but it is the audio stutter it doesn't play very well but this is expected i'm finding this on other systems i just haven't shown it on other systems so that's it running my nas drive nicely all of this looks very nice uh, very very easy to understand um, so if i go down to the bottom as well i was really uh, surprised to see this here is uh, it mentions my keyboard and it's, uh, it tells me it's fully charged which i thought was a nice little touch um, if I go down to, uh, and I can right click on here, you see I've got a notification uh, to tell me that something needs updating in Package Manager. I can't remember what this one was, what was this one? So networking, Bluetooth, 
audio. These are your multiple desktops, so if you, if you start opening up more apps, then you can have multiple desktops. If I launch Firefox from the bottom here and go straight into that, and let's do a few searches, you can see it comes up nice and quick. Uh, do oh, I was doing? Uh, I did see that UK as well the other day because that's got a lot, of, quite a lot of text and things on it. And of course, I'll do hot UK deals. I managed to get a, a, the new Echo Dot. I think it's the third generation for nine pound with a month of Amazon Prime, which was quite a good deal. I won't go through the deals because I'll obviously the video will last a lot longer. Uh, so go back to CNET and launch the page of CNET.com. BBC, BBC Home. Uh, and then go back to CNET, see if that's all loaded up. You can see it scrolls up and down nice and quickly, looks rather nice. Hot UK deals. No worries with that and the BBC Home. So if I click on a link, there you go. It, it is, it's pretty snappy, I, I like it. And I saw up here, already installed, and obviously you can turn this off, is uBlock, uh, which uh, is, looks like an ad blocker. I don't really use ad blockers, um, but, uh, but it's all pre-installed. And some pages, uh, was it the CNET one? It had blocked, yeah, look, 31, 32. So on this page, request block 32 or 25% since install. Yeah, so that, that was something extra that I haven't seen on other ones. It might have been there, but I haven't noticed it. Uh, you've got sync options there as well. So uh, I'll also try YouTube. Uh, let's use one of these already open pages. And I usually try YouTube at 720, uh, either full screen, uh, full screened and then windowed. So if I put in Oh, okay. I'm gonna start playing that because that's got quite a lot of movement in this. And I believe this is playing at 720. No, it's playing at 480. So let's pop it up to HD 720. And you can see on the things with excessive movement, uh, it is a bit jerky. Uh, and that, that is, it seems that pretty much everything, uh, what was it I tried? I think it was Lubuntu or Kubuntu seemed to be a little bit better. I haven't gone back to Raspbian to try it for a while with YouTube, but it, but it used to be not as good. Uh, if I go full screen, same sort of effect. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same. Actually, that, I don't know, it seems, almost it seems to have got better than when I last tried it. So, acceptable. But obviously it'd be nice if they could really totally sort out uh, YouTube because uh, it's something that a lot of people are gonna use. But, I mean, it works, it's, it's, it's usable. It's just, it'd be nice if it was a bit smoother. So, let's close that down. Uh, do a little search on here as well for uh, show you what you can install. So what was it? It was that one, wasn't it? So if I right click on that, hit package, package manager, uh, and you can see featured is up there, photo and video. So all sorts of apps that you can literally just click on and install. Yeah, it goes on for quite a while. Music and audio, productivity, Communication and news, education and science, games, which I would be more interested in. Uh, loads of games on there. And I saw earlier on as well, I was looking, uh, there's quite a few emulators on there as well. Um, so if I put in, well, let's just put in emulator. Uh, and you'll see that various things, yeah, there's a SNES emulator, Atari emulator, Nice to see them, you know, initially available, and just it's nice to see icons and stuff as well, you know. So that so the fact that you can click on it and hit install. I did notice that once you hit apply uh, and it starts to install something, it tends to be that you're better off to let it do it. Uh, this is this is where I always think of an of an iPad, iOS 
when things are happening in the background, it, it very rarely impacts what you're doing with the other bits. Oh, I don't know why it's so, said to fed to couldn't find database, but it was working earlier on. Yeah, I don't know why that would be. I've got an internet connection. Um, but yeah, it, it uh, when it was doing updates uh, or installing apps, it was slower on that, but then you can choose when you update them. The nice thing about it is, unlike Windows 10, although Windows 10's changed now, uh, it doesn't force you to do the update. Uh, it's basically showing you it's there. So basically when you finish doing whatever you're doing, you can then switch straight back into that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my first look at Manjaro. Uh, and I like it, it's nice and fast. I, st I think I probably still prefer Raspbian and Lubuntu at the moment, but I'm only giving it quick looks and obviously put in the comments, you know, why you like particular operating systems. You're spoiled for choice with Linux. There's so much good stuff out there uh, that it's really nice to see. Right, so hit shut down. And thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.